Emotions ran high in a Kenosha courtroom today as Kyle Rittenhouse finally took the stand. Rittenhouse was overwhelmed with tears while recalling the moments that led to him killing Joseph Rosenbaum. And there were... <laughs> there were three people right there. The judge called for a recess to give Rittenhouse time to compose himself before continuing testimony. Before he broke into tears, Rittenhouse said he was alerted to Rosenbaum's presence after Rosenbaum shouted threats at him and was seen wielding a chain. In cross-examination, the prosecution confirmed that there is no existing record of those threats, on video or otherwise, and that the chain was not used in the attack. The prosecution also brought up evidence previously discluded from the case, provoking Judge Bruce Schroeder. And the prosecution wanted to use evidence that Rittenhouse was heard in a store saying that he wished he had his guns so he could shoot people he believed was stealing. It was previously not admitted in the trial, but the prosecution's understanding was that it would remain withheld only if it de was deemed irrelevant. Prosecutors claim it is relevant because Rittenhouse acted in ignorance of the fact that he did not have legal rights to use deadly force to defend property that night. The DA saying, that video is an example of that. Now, Judge Schroeder sent the jury out of the courtroom to shout at the prosecutor for what he later describes as, quote, brazen behavior. Why would you think that that made it okay for you without any advance notice to bring this matter before the jury? You are already, you were, I, I was a, astonished when you began your examination by commenting on the defendant's post-arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country for 40 years, 50 years. I have the no prosecution idea argues that because the defense used verbal threats as evidence, Rittenhouse's verbal threats toward protesters should also be considered by the court. Schroeder disagreed, saying the trial focuses only on the moments where Rittenhouse had confrontations with protesters. The defense emerged from a break arguing that the prosecution's intentional referencing of the unadmitted evidence is grounds for a mistrial. Judge Schroeder says he believes the defense was not acting in good faith, but arguments continued regardless.